I like that. Hi, Roxy. I hope I'm not interrupting. Just want to say hi. No, you're not interrupting, doll. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. <laughs> Wonderful to see you. Thank you, vibrating yeah. your moment right now. <laughs> yeah. My daughter, I was here before, and then my daughter came home, and I had to get up for a while. Yeah. How's she doing now, Ruth? Uh, yeah, they sent her home from work. <laughs> she was crying too much. She got, went there and cried. But uh, yeah, I told I felt... her... Carry on. No, go ahead. No, please carry on. Oh, we're live. Oh, oh, thank you, Will. Thank you, thank you for telling me that. Um. <laughs> oh. Okay, all right, okay. Yeah, yeah, all right. Maybe it's another good. time for private. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks. Uh, no, I'm, I'm just going to, I told her we should get the dance suggested before getting her some wheatgrass, and Will suggested a herb, and um, yeah, I was talking to her about that, so we'll do that later. Right now, I'm yeah, happy I, to feel you, I did feel a huge heavy. Something was on her heart was really heavy. It was yeah. really, really heavy. It is, yeah. it is, yeah. I don't know how to get rid of it, but anyway. <laughs> it's okay. It's all good. Thank you. Hi, Laura. Nice to see you. Who did I miss? Fanda. Caitlin made it back, I see. That's good. <laughs> Hello, nice. how are you? Good. Hi everybody that just came in. How are you guys today? Good. That's good. We's good. We's good. <laughs> I kept disconnecting, Sophia. That's why I was so confused. I saw that. I saw that, yeah. Somebody was it's blocking okay. me, I feel. <laughs> oh, well, it's all yeah. good now. Yeah. <sighs> but, uh, that video was good, Dan. Thank you for that. I really liked it. Thank you very much. And cat's sitting on my lap now. I love it. It's it's so odd. I saw a picture of a cat today on Facebook, and my heart started beating, and I'm like, what? Oh, it's so weird. <laughs> I, think, I know that was so weird. Yeah, I like cats, but I I really appreciate dogs because for me they're like little angels, and. <laughs> Somebody once wrote on Facebook, I hope to be the person my dog thinks I am. And I wrote back, I hope to be more like my dog. <laughs> so unconditional, forgiving, happy, just happy all the time. As long as you're not abused too long, too, too much, and just grateful for little things. Just, I just love dogs, yeah. The cats are so... Yeah, I love both. Yeah. To be honest, I love yeah. them both. Yeah. And I, I always, I always envied how not envied. Sorry, that's that's probably not a good definition. Um, I always really was inspired by how my mom was so, um, like so protective with animals and how she cared so much about them. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh my god. I mean, I love animals, but she is, she's like the queen of dogs. <laughs> She wow. is. The dogs we have, if she walks into a different room, the dogs just follow her. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I mean, I can't even get one dog to follow me. It's just a cat here. But, like, it's crazy. My cat, if, 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 yeah, if, I, if my mom actually tried to come in my room and be like, hey, cat, how are you? My cat would totally just leave me and be like, yeah, screw you, Caitlin. I'm just going to go see this beautiful lady. And I'd be like, oh, okay. She just, like, she just... And maybe it's her vibration, I don't know. Or maybe she has connections, I'm not sure. But yeah. if she sees an animal, the animal just goes, and it just goes right to her. And I'm like, ah, oh, what? <laughs> but yeah. yeah, I had to build a strong connection with the animal to really, um, like, be connected with it, have I guess. Follow you, have, you, have them follow you around like that, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know but how I, you I feel. I like that. Yeah. Or like if it's a hyperactive dog, it's pretty easy because they just like they're they're obsessed with people. But mm -hmm. I don't know. Dogs, 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 and cats. You. So did you have did you have any special dreams or spiritual experiences last night? Uh, I That's probably what... did. I just don't remember anything. Um, mm -hmm. but I had <laughs> I had a. What is that noise? I'm scared. I'm so scared. Okay. It's I, I, I had a dream of... 
I was helping Fran Shag move to a different place, to an apartment. Whoa. It wow. It was really weird. Wow. <laughs> it was weird. I don't even know. But it was kind of interesting. I, was, I woke up and I was like, what? Why did I have a dream of helping Fran Shag move? It was the weirdest thing ever. You quantum <laughs> jumped all the way to Sweden. <laughs> wow. Pretty much. Wait, well, you probably are helping him move. You never know. We never know the things we say. We never know how it hits another person and how it affects them, right? So, who knows? Maybe you shared something and it moved him. So there oh, you go. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's yeah. so quiet. What is going on here, guys? I don't Sorry, know. I made myself a latte real quick. <laughs> a latte. Oh, nice. I those forever. Nice, latte. nice. So, is there anything new that you guys have been experiencing lately? Any new strategies to meditate or um, dream states? Or Welcome back, Panda. Welcome back. Um, I, still, I still reckon that, that the best way of learning new um, light language is by sitting on the toilet. <laughs> Every single time. That's the third, third one I've got now so far. Wow. <laughs> uh, it's, it's the... It's the strangest thing. I walk around my kitchen. It's real, man. Shit's real. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. But most oh of the time, gosh. I'm probably thinking about like when when I'm speaking it. It's probably something relating to the activity I'm doing as well. Oh. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave from from my bathroom talking about what I've just done in there. In a different language, it's a it's a weird concept. Well, the funny thing is, it's not weird in other countries. You go to India, and women will talk about what colour their stores are, and what what they look like, and on on the bus. So it's just because our Western world is just like so obsessed with our weird ways and dirty things and all that type of stuff. In fact, it's actually quite healthy to know what you're doing, know what your body's doing. I do you know what I. I do kind of enjoy uh, coming out of the toilet, going to my mates and going, I've just released the Balrog, don't go in there. But that's because I'm a bit of a, a Lord of the Rings nerd. Oh, you know, when I was, when my kids were small and in diapers, and I was very much aware of the idea of not transmitting any kind of weirdness about sexuality or, you know, if they're running around naked or whatever, this whole concept. But you know what I found really difficult about that is that when I was changing their diaper and cleaning their poop, it was so hard to like not scrunch my nose or you know, or say don't touch that. It's like if sometimes babies will take their hands and try and touch their poop, you know, whatever. <laughs> they're curious and it's like oh don't touch that, it's dirty. So you know I never wanted to transmit that their sexual organs are dirty, but you know, they poop in the same place when they're baby, so... Was this when you were in Germany? Yeah, when my kids were small. Yeah, because they released a leaflet as well years ago about how to touch children and how to be aware of touching children and not to be, like, treated as a dirty thing. And a lot of Christian groups keep... Right-wing Christian groups in America. They keep yeah. trying to make it out like this. Oh, Germany's promoting this pedophilic-like type of way and... It's like this leaflet that got released years ago and they got taken back, but they still keep oh, trying to regurgitate the crap. Huh. Yeah. It, it's just hard not to give... It's hard to transmit um, beauty and cleanliness of the sexual organs when I'm changing their poop, and it's pretty gross. <laughs> I'm not, that, not that I even connect, wanted them to connect their sexual organs to their poop, but it's just hard. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> oh God, let's let's delete this part of the conversation. <laughs> anyway, I think also in India they're very they're very aware of the color of their stool in connection to their health. So I think yes. that's why they talk, talk about it. Yes, also. that's right. That's correct. Yeah. So yeah. This is, I mean, it's just different cultures, different ways, different aspects. We always think a lot of us in the Western world think the Western world rule the world. And yeah. it's quite funny, they think everything that happens in the Western world is going on in the world, and it's not. And this is one of these always big assumptions we make, and it's yeah. one of the biggest mistakes we make as well. Yeah. I disagree with you. Oh, sorry. Carry on. 
Oh, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Made a funny comment. Right, ready. Be right back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So who would like to so quiet. I know. We wait. Who who would like to practice channeling first, aside from Roxy? Because Roxy. Oh, this is, a this is a practice. No, wow. I just made it one. I just made it one. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm joking. No, don't hey, no, 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 do it. You brought it up. Follow I it. Just, Start yeah. channeling and let it let it unfold. Awesome. Okay. Okay, Caitlin, you're up. <laughs> How I, do I just speak the language or uh, anything no. from your heart? Anything that comes from your heart to your mind, or just from your heart? Uh, yeah, I'll learn, Caitlin. Sorry, what? Oh, uh, I just um, I believe it's dance in the light in Elvish. I'm confused. What did you... I, I believe I just said dance in the light, Caitlin. In dance the in the light. Say it. Say it right now. It's, I think it's like... Te alan, Caitlin. We die and... Te alan, Caitlin. We are not That's friggin' Lirin. I may kenia. That is, yeah, that's clear in too. Got to focus on the separate energies here. Uh, All right, can't. you know what? I'm just gonna take my time. Then, uh, it's Lirin, but there's there's very very similar words. That's the, I think that's the biggest issue is that there's a few words that come up in the Lirin dialect as well as in the Elvish. That might be true. Don't beat but yourself up about it. I know, I gotta stop. I think I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna speak in Lyric first. So who's gonna go second after? I just wanna know. Safira. Yeah, Safira nominated. <laughs> no, no. Dan. Yeah, yeah. Come no, on. Just... You gotta let go. Come on. Just, you just gotta go speak it when it comes. Okay, after I'll, I'll try after you. Go ahead. All right. Ayishiwa kina a yakawa kikawa kashka wa iyanaha iyamayeka ina hayawa kini ana a yane kaya wa iniana wa kiata nie go sphere do <laughs> <laughs> Mm, let's see if to get the spirit of it. Quinoa. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh, what was that? <laughs> I don't know. Quinoa, <laughs> quinoa. Is that my mic or what? <laughs> so weird. Okay. Quinoa. Quinoa hakatan maha. Quinoa hakata tu hala mahakana. All right, Dan's turn. Go, Dan. Go, oh, Dan. I was just about to, and then you said <laughs> you blocked it. Um, <laughs> Sorry. All right, carry on. I'll, I'll jump in when when it when it comes to me. Um. Uh, okay. Let's see. You have anything else, Caitlin, to say? Until day. Yes. Yes. Okay. Also, Safira, I. Um, are you thinking of the words, or are they just coming in your head? I'm not thinking. They're just coming. All right. One of the suggestions I have is just don't even think of words. Just like go with it. Like go. Okay. Oh, for yeah, example, right now I'm not thinking. Okay. So I'll go right now. I'm not thinking of any words at all. So. Aha, Anya, Anayawa, Ka, Yashkawa, Ikariawa, Ka, Yanaha, Aishawa, Yanaha, Hiate, Yanaha, Nia. Ahuraham, Ahuraham, Nala. Oh, Ahuraham, Nala, Kita, 
I know idea. Is that my mic, man? I think it's. Is it Roxanne? Oh, yeah, I think it's feeding back through Roxy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, try it now. I'll mute myself. Okay. okay. Um. Ahuna la kata. Mahajan. Mahajan tala kata. Hila. Hila. Wala. Oh, I don't know what that is. Safira, <laughs> try yeah. to be. Try to be. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not trying. I, I am. Uh, okay. Yes. No, I'm just. I'm just trying to let it flow. Mm -hmm. And that's what no, comes out. No, you're doing out. good. You're doing good. You're doing really good. Thank you. And that's what comes out. But I don't. I think it's not Lyran anymore. That's why I kind of stopped. You're probably getting a few other words from different uh, species, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So I I know how you feel. I was I'm frustrated with that, but I got to deal with that. Um. Yeah. Okay, Dan. So are you gonna jump in? Do you want me to go, and then you can jump in? Also, yeah, yeah. Franti Shack, Franti Shack, yeah, you Franti should Shack say speak so. as well. You too. And Don't. Actually, you're not the only one. We speak languages, and I think Laura started speaking languages as well. So yeah. whoever else speaks languages, get involved. Uh huh. Don't be shy. What about Caroline? Have you have you gained any languages yet? Maybe she's not there. I'm not sure. Where did you oh, hear yeah. um, uh, learning languages from, Dan? Pardon? Where did you hear I'm learning languages from? I'm, Do you know I'm something sure. I don't? <laughs> I'm not sure. Something something told me. I feel Liney ha has a language. Ooh, okay. Liney, do you have a language? Um. <laughs> you have it. I know you do. Uh, hmm. Mine, mine's I. I just talk to myself most days now, but mine is just um. I don't know. I think well, it's just gobbledygook. If you if that you would like to, well. if you would like to, you're more than welcome to say anything. And Frantishek, you better say something because I know you can do it. All right, everybody here. Okay, all right. Okay. Ah, well, handi a hundasti a hartu han, ya gu da in ha hoare te ti o hora sto borte ton one dia to walk. Very nice. What I do 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 Ah, piu stuot, ot njare tinja stuot. Ea a undi anem du on der du du stal uvoda od du 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 hashtar ho. Okay, I think I have a kind of message from all of these of the speaking. So, mm -hmm. it's an, um, the messages through this forum through this forum, you can realize there is no time, no space between us in any way. And this, my friends, is very, very exciting. Okay, that's that was the message. <laughs> yes. Wait, thank you. Wow. Awesome. Wow. That's awesome. awesome. We got a translator here, Ruth. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a translation or just a message, but it was just came through. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. You. Yeah. It right, is pretty. So it is pretty amazing if you think about it. It is. Yeah. I don't even. I could. I, I don't even know if I'm capable of that yet. Of what? <laughs> here we go again. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm capable, but I don't focus on that. There we go. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm focusing on the languages. What am I saying? God, I need to stop doubting myself. It, you, right. You're sounding like the teacher today, Caitlin. It's amazing. <laughs> the, the transformation just from the last 48 hours is really nice to hear. Thank you. All right. Um, who's next? 
Is it me? Is it... I want Liney to talk, though. <laughs> Liney, we call upon you to speak your language, your light language. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> my, mine's kind of quite fast, but when I... When I, I don't know. As I said, it's still gobbledygook to me. I'm still trying to... Um, I have a bit more self belief, I think, with it because. Um, do you have any? Do you, do you have Harry, any words that you have? Huh. Sorry. Sorry. She wanted to know if you had any words at all. Then you could just speak a few words. Oh, sorry. I thought you were talking about. Yeah. Um, mm, this is what I'm not mm, too sure about. Um, and another thing as well, because I can. Speak whatever it is, as, as I say, I think it's gobbledygook, fairly fast. So um, I don't know how fast I'm meant to speak it as well. So, um, Might be the Andromedan. And I'm not even sure if it's, uh, I'm just wondering if it's a, another language rather than like maybe well, you know, a really ancient language or I don't know. Liney, you're using your brain too much. I am. Um, for change. Liney? <laughs> Liney, we have the awesome fortune of having Roxanne here, and if she would be so kind as to listen to what you have to say and see if it's a, 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 to recognizable or not, then here's your chance. Mm -hmm. So go for it, girl. <laughs> oh God, you've really got me now. <laughs> oh, let it rip. Mm. Can't do it. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard the first time. Whenever you feel it is right, that is when you should speak it. And I sound like a weirdo when I no when I say well, that. You, you, <laughs> no, you don't sound like a weirdo. But just before you were going, okay, come on, Fanda, Fanda, I know you got it. Let's go, move. <laughs> <laughs> it's and then you tell like, and then you say to Caroline, it's okay, dear. Whatever. It's no. right. Yeah, you, Caroline's <laughs> really innocent. Okay, I love Caroline. <laughs> No, she's you're innocent, all right. She's so shy and cute. I love it. I know. I know. You're I'm really like, encouraging. <laughs> 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 uh, but I know, I know, Franti and Dan can do it. Like they, they just don't choose to. I just know it, and I, I know it. It's because we sit in the back just observing. <laughs> Stop observing. <laughs> hey, at least you're doing something. Okay, okay. hi, Rexman. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. I thought, was she leaving? Or, no, she's just for oh, a minute. She, that she'll okay. be back in a minute. Yeah. Okay. So, are we going to do another round, or are you guys up for that? or? Does anyone have a message that they feel they picked up from either from a language or just a message? I um, have something. When you were all kind of speaking earlier, and I felt that I could have possibly translated it. I just had that feeling that I was thinking, this sounds so familiar. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. Do you remember any other words? Mm, not really. But I was. I, it was just there. You know, you've got blocks. I was thinking, oh, I know what they're saying. But, yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. It's like on the tip of your tongue. It is. You know, when exactly. you forget something and you go on the tip of That's your tongue, you're like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, I think that. That's what makes it worse as well. When you when you think it's there and you're thinking, oh, I just know, I just need, ah, oh, ah, uh, like that, and and it gets you kind of get in the worst state. That's why yeah, Liney, yeah, the last. Me. Sorry, oh, Ruth. Sorry, Ruth. No, no, sorry, hun. Sorry, hun. Uh, no, I just want to say to Liney, the last time this, I was at this language gym, I, I just grabbed a piece of paper and a pen, and I just started writing. Maybe that would help you. Yeah, actually, that's, that's a good idea because I did that um, writing the other day and. Um, yeah, maybe it is a way that I can kind of release whatever is there. Because, cause, yeah, I mean, like the other day, yeah, go ahead. I had to release something, you know, when I was writing my shopping list. So maybe it's the same with this. It's it's here. It's in me. But it needs, it needs to come out somehow. Yeah, maybe yeah. that's my yeah. way. Yeah. Maybe for singing, do you sing? Sing. Oh, yeah, actually, you know... But for me, um, sometimes I sing, and sometimes the, the language I kind of use the language to kind of as well. Sometimes, uh -huh. but you yeah, know, that's, again, that's really... I think I'm completely crazy, but 
you know. <laughs> no, 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 no. You gotta get that. I was, I know, I was first. I thought the same exact thing, and it just. Sabrina really encouraged me to get off that track and stop making those thoughts, because those thoughts really ruin what's happening, the process, and you just gotta be confident, and you gotta let go and do what you feel is right. And when you feel it's right. Franti and Dan, I know they can do it because they've done it and but you haven't done it yet. So when you feel this is right, this is when that's when you do it. Actually, I, I make also, it public. Sorry. I've also been thinking um that when when I feel more confident I can what I might do is actually record what I say, um, and kinda of listen back to it and probably play the recording to you guys, maybe I can do something like that, you know. Um, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. When I that. really feel that the language, I'm actually, I am actually saying something, and it's not rubbish, you know. Because, because, because the other day I said something, I was saying something, and then I said this other kind of language, and I thought I know exactly what I just said, and it was I don't know what I'm saying, so, um, well, which is kind of yeah. hard. Especially when you when you listen to songs that are your um, English, just try to try to um, sing those languages in uh, the the language that you have. Say you have Andromeda or Lyran, for example. Sing, try to sing those in Lyran or Elvish. It doesn't matter what you have. It just try to let go and don't even think. But you still have the lyrics that like the the words in your head that are English. But you're as you're singing this, you're singing the words. That are, I, this is hard to explain. I'm sorry. No, that, that's complex. a really good example. That's really good. But, but yeah, that's that's what I've been doing lately, and Sabrina has too. I maybe others have too, and um, that's what helped me. And today I was doing that also, so it's it's really helpful. And um, I do suggest writing down in book in books too, because that helps you to remember the words that you say. And you're like, oh, I picked up on a new word. I'm just gonna put this down in a book, and it it works. But <laughs> Sadly, I haven't done that yet, so I think I do have a few Elvish, Elvish, I said Elvis, Elvish words in my head, but I gotta write them down. That's the thing I gotta do. But um, yeah, I think you're on a really okay, good track. Okay, I have a little. Mm -hmm. I have Go a ahead. little diddle. I have a I have a little diddle, that I channeled for you guys. Diddle. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> it's a little rhyme. <laughs> a net of light below. No, a net of light above. A net of light below, hold each other by the hand, and it will come to flow. <laughs> that, that oh, I, well just, I just received that while you guys were talking about singing. Yeah. Okay. What if we so try we just, saying that riddle in a different language? I'm gonna write that down and try to say it in a different. Oh, language. awesome! So okay. what was it? A net, a net of light above. Okay. A on. net of light below. Okay. Hold each other by the hand, and it will come to flow. By the hand. And it will come to flow. So whatever we're all doing together, imagine we're we have a net of light above us, a net of light below, and we virtually take each other's hands, and everything just kind of flows. Okay. <laughs> Guys, okay. just chat chat a bit while I try to. Um, awesome. <laughs> See if I can actually do this. I think I need to like just center my heart or something. I just feel that right now. So I can get something. Okay. So, Will, would you like to try speaking? Okay. Um, if it if it feels right, I will. Okay. I've done a little before, so. Okay. I'll I'll let it out when it comes. All right. It's all good. Uh, hey, Fonda. After you've recorded everything, where could we watch it? Like, 
if I wanted to watch the the thing from yesterday, the Hangout, where would I find it? Yeah, the first part uh, you can find on uh, Huko uh, Google account or site, mm -hmm. and uh, the second part is uh, only, I believe, uh, accessible through link, but it's where? not. Uh, Oh. The sound quality is is so bad <laughs> that uh, I could wasn't able to listen to it. It was oh. jumping up and down. When we went off air. Yeah, we were off air and he was recording it anyway. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so okay. for now, I I will uh, try to keep it always uh, on air. But not, uh, but private, you know, and then we can put it public. Okay, thank you. So if it if I drop uh, and uh, it stops, uh, we would have to start a new hangout and join um, there. Okay, that's cool. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Okay. Oh God, I don't know if this is going to be right or not. Okay, doesn't matter. Oh. All right, let's try this. Ya ye yo, ya ye kilo, yahawa kianawa, aheya kiata ya la. Awesome. Woo. Can you say that again? That was nice. It's probably gonna just sound different. I. It, it doesn't yeah, matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Ya ye yo. Ya ye kilo. And I forget. God, I forgot the rest now. That sounds really nice. Sounded the same. I should have wrote the debt. What? I should have wrote down what I just. It's recorded, Caitlin. <laughs> I know. I just should have wrote down what I below what I what she the English translation oh. that she told me, and then I should have wrote down what I was hearing in my head. I even forgot what I said. A net of light above. A net, a net of love. Of <laughs> a net of love. I mean, a, a net of light above. A net of light below. Hold each other by the hand, and it will come to flow. Okay. Good. Yeah, it sounded like uh, the first two lines were like. You know, a net. You were repeating the words, a net of light, a net of light above, a net of light below. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I. Uh, and then I just forgot what I said. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh well, that was good enough. At least I got two lines. It was beautiful. Yay. Hey, Thank if you. you. Uh, yeah, I liked it. I was even thinking we can make even add a little tune to that eventually. Mm -hmm. You can keep working on it, right? Could you keep working on it? Not now, so. but later. Later, yeah. yeah. And then if if we we might even get more lines to it, then we can make a little song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be sweet. Yeah, that would oh, be, be really cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so is Brandy Shack willing to say something in his language? Kawa datatia du shata nura kwarat nuala ra ya duor ter koro tor heno kura 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 ya na oh my god <laughs> scared me okay should I restart this you. Sorry, I just paused out. I kind of zoned. Should we have like a little order thing? Like, should we go in order? No. <laughs> right. It's okay. Whatever. Right now we're just sort of flowing. Okay. Naturally. Thank you. All right, Dan. Do it, Dan. Do it. We believe in you. Come on. I understand that you believe in me, but I'm not sure what about. I've just phased back in. <laughs> about you speaking the language. Ah, oh, okay, okay. What language are you guys doing? Uh, Whatever. I think I was doing Lyran. Yeah, it doesn't really matter to be honest. Uh, 
I've just uh, wait. I need to. I need to center myself for a sec. Carry on. Carry on, and I'll. I'll take after someone else's. Sabira. I can do yeah. a pizza eating language if you want. Oh yeah. sure. Go ahead. Yeah. No, yeah, it sounds a bit like this. Oh god, that's <laughs> gross. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that's definitely a piece of eating language. Oh, I do lower the tone sometimes, I know, I do. I do you, for, you forgot the mm, god, this is so good part to it. Yeah. I think that's <laughs> an ancient You know, so it was so good, I just couldn't even say those words. <laughs> Yeah. What were you saying, Will? I was just saying, I think that's the ancient munchy language. Yes. <laughs> it's munching out. Yes. <laughs> oh God, that was really sour at the end. But anyway, <laughs> it reminded me a little bit of um, Octorian, a little bit. Yeah, it did. It had that little vibe. Yeah. It had that vibe. Hey, Roxy, um, oh, oh uh, can I ask Roxy, is, uh, are we, does anything sound like a real language so far? <laughs> <laughs> They're all real languages. There's Elven, definitely. There's Lyrian, definitely. There's a little drop in there as well. What else was there? There was something else. Arcturian, a couple of words, but not fully. Not fully an entire idea behind that. You know, you can yeah. tell the difference because there's going to be a punctuation difference. Or in other words, when um, you inflex your voice to different ideas in the syllables of the words, and even though the words are very close to each other, it's the way you punctuate them that changes the entire language. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? That's kind of oh, why yeah. I like oh, yeah. Ben and Lyrian are really close to each other, but it's a bit of the punctuation that makes the differentiation. Does that sound right? Or does that yes, make sense? yes, absolutely. Yeah, I was teaching English in Germany, and I know that if they would say one English word with a different intonation, just yes. could I, even I couldn't recognize it. <laughs> yeah, it was yes, yes. Yeah. same idea here. You guys are doing great, though. I, I love it. I love to keep going with it because this is exactly what you got together to do. So keep doing it. Thank you. <laughs> I want to hear some languages from you. From me, Rock. Yes, you. Roxy. Um, sure. Okay. Uh, I'll give you a rundown. This is Parisian, and I'll just do a, like a small greeting. A small greeting. Gimme a toko, konish no kanta tariya toka na. This is Inani. Gimme a toka, hiya to shunako ko papa tiriya toko na ya toko. That's Inani. This is Inani. Chia chokoko niya niya toshinoto iya na niya kokoka motata. This is a kume. Shisha shiki niya tati sha shojo pa sha shoka shiki ga toshinata. And this is Hathor. Mm Wow. Thank you. Interesting. Yeah. That's beautiful. That how for that might have been what I was doing when I because it it kind of has that Gregorian chant sound to it. So it may have been something I was doing the other day because I randomly started going into what I thought was a Gregorian chant. It sounded really monk kind of sound. Yes. That is that is a, a Hathor language. I haven't discovered or it's not been in my reality yet. That anything else is half, or in other words, if you're toning like that in long, what they call chants, but it, then it expresses itself in that nature, 
that's Hathor. There's nothing else because they're just all tonal. Everything about them is about sound. That that's how they, let's say, focused in and discovered all the possibilities of the vibration light that puts off sound and took sound and made that their focus. So that's what I I haven't got anyone else put it that way. Does that make sense? Yeah, that resonates with me quite a lot actually. That's that's kind of why I'm on I'm on this uh, experience now is to do with music and sound. So yeah, that oh, yes. would make a lot of it makes a lot of sense. And and Dan, when you're exploring this, <clears throat> if you can, just an idea. This is you know for me. To, I'm getting this. Um, when you are with a, an animal, a cat or a dog, sing or I any animal truly. Sing in that voice. Sing it and let it. You know, you, you can you can you can sing there. Okay, the Hathors have songs that they have shortened up into an idea of lyrics. They're still long lyrics, but they're shorter because that entire thing I spoke was a lot of words, but you know, in there. So when you do that with animals, they recognize it. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. It definitely does. I, have, I sing a lot yeah. to rabbit, so like, my rabbit loves singing. So, yeah, I know, I know where you're coming from from that. Yeah, yeah. very much. Excellent. Wow, that's a big text. <laughs> so, yeah, keep going. Who's next? Yeah, who's next? Dan, a quick question. Yo? Dan, have you heard of Tom Kenyon? I have not, no. There he, you go, very good, Laura. He channels the Hathors. He is awesome, he's amazing. Okay. Listen to the Hathor Heart Meditation. When I listen to that, everything just flew open for me. Just amazing. Can you write the name of the, the man in the chat box? Yeah, I'll, I'll put a link to it in the chat box. Yeah, oh, awesome. yeah no problem. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Who did Jim bring through find that in in the latter stages of today's webinar? Oh, I forget. It was Takur in the second half. There there was no I think me, me uh Roe is talking about. Was that not the Hathor? No, no, oh, it's sorry. Uh hey, Hador or Oh, oh, Hadorian. Adorian, yeah. Oh. oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, I forgot about that one. I did too. Hi guys, I'm back. Welcome back, Welcome Mary. Back. Hey, Mary. Thank you. I had a session with Max. He's awesome. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. So, do you have any languages you'd like to speak? Oh, me? Yes. Do you oh, have me? any alien languages? Yes, Mary, you. Yeah, I can but um I don't know I don't know what, what language it is. I I mean I can speak it but I don't I don't know what what it means. I mean I know it's a prayer. Mm hmm Would you like to speak it? Yes. Okay. Okay. Anna Pohoshinia na bodinia labo, a honey a labo, nia na boji, a honey a labo di, a mo laba hadinia la. Baba yinia na boboye, he shinia labo, baba yinia na bo, ona halaya nia boboye, nia, oh, baba ye, ea na la. Oh, the Hadiania, she about oh, Nababa, Yidiana, oh, Ladania, oh, Shinia Labo, Dinia Nabo, Atayabo, Hoshinia, 
Donia la nia puhutia la puhutia nia olla hadia nia. Oh, papa ye nia la po, oda, ashi. Interesting. Namaste. Oh, namaste. I love that. I don't know what that is, though. What do you guys think that is? Not sure. Something, something tells me Pleiadian, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it's either... Uh, I get either Pleiadian or... Can you do that in a high-pitched voice? Don't You don't have to do the same thing you did, but like, is there any words you remember? High pitch. What do you mean, high pitch? Like Arcturian is really high pitched. Like you're, like you're making a little cute voice. Like ee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, so, I mean, I, I mean, I. It's just coming over me. I have no control over it. Oh, that's a good thing, though. <laughs> yeah, I have. I don't know what they say. Tell. I mean, I know it, it's kind of prayer. To God, but 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 I mean I can't uh, translate it word by word. But I know it's it's um they're talking about like uh just be joyful everyday life, just be joyful and kind of like take it easy. Uh, joy, be joyful. Um, you know something like that. But but you know I I, I just don't understand the whole thing. Hmm. It just sounds familiar to me, at least. Yes, it is. Anybody else? Well, I have a little bit of idea if you all want to play in the reindeer games. Yes. <laughs> okay, so everyone from, let's say, for the next five minutes, oh, that's a long time, three minutes, uh, only speak in the language that you know, and let's carry on a conversation. And let's not second guess what we're translating. Okay. Um, like, yeah, like when Dan started and Caitlin, you know, came in, and then you stopped, and that's the idea. <clears throat> but just to keep on speaking and let it flow through from the initial ideas of what you gave yourself, probably as to learn the language and translate it, and flow into whatever's coming and know that the words you're getting in translations are what it is. Mm -hmm. We'll give it a run. Why not? Because we're here. Let's have some fun. Yay! <laughs> so, excuse me, just like a natural conversation, anybody who wants to jump in can jump in, right? Yes. Bonita. Okay. Kinuho. 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 Ushkamita is kana hut na sinaya. Hinata, hinata haka. Hina. Chaniata, notaria goko. Una, la hado ye, niya bo. Uniata. Apaniala. Oh, 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 go ahead. Oh, yeah. Oh, Caitlin, Chiniaco, come on, Caitlin, Totototo, come in, Tataria. Kiniwa, Roxanne, Iana, Haya. Kinata be my whole to 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 be la Kinaha to Mala Nyak to Naya Ismana Hara Sama Anaya Malahala Suma Yanaka Nia. Hodi, Yana, Yana, Hodi, 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 Yana, Hodi,
Bienvenida a todos, Fania Cochinata. Fania con la patata, chomara, quimia tocó na tu ochna. Ah, 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 chomara ya cana. Chola. Chula ho, chula ho, ha ha, chula ho, ha ha, chula ho, ha ha, na. Niha. Niha yakawa yakawa yaka ya ha ya ha. Wada na shi ye. Hei ya na na lo. Ya. Tiyan na tona ya san? Aha ni ya ho. Ye. Ya ya. Chani ya taka ni ya tau toshi ni te ni deo. Toshi no will ni de to ko. Eto te cha ta. So to cha na will ni de to spark ko ni ya. Kaniya tota te, ane tushna tariya kana spa. Kaniya tota will ni kushna. Oh la la, na wo. Tusha. Kika ha, kika ha, mala ha, kika ha, mala ha, tu no. Kiso. Tona. Niya mato. Kira. Kirito ya kaya na. Kya na ha ya ka. Na. Kya ya ta. Nina ya ta. Kombari kana tota ya na to shina te di omi kani ya toko. Oshina. Mbahari ya na. Oda na. Oshin ya na boye. Hei ya na la hao. Papa hada ni ya. Choni. Aya. Aya hana se dan. Dan. Ya na ka. Idabe wa. Hige wa. Itana wana. Itana hana ni anana. Ana ye. He anana bo de ye. Ho ni anana. Ho le ye anana. O o pa di na. Na nua o ni a. Nua. O ho ye. O ho ye. Chikala. Chikala hana ka. Chikala hana ka tuto mino. Ana. Nia pa da. Iha ni a si anana. Jombaria in a juta, Nicola, Kaniatoma, Chariata, Nicola, Mua, 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 Mua. Postina, Nicholas. Muscarea, not to qua, eat another cup, not a sicky, tender, what they so. Mata, Jombaria, Pona. Nicola, Elvis, Yana, Yaya. Wa nabo inkara isa nata ka na esinda mo na ya kia bela. Mo no ye ya na iri ya na ya. Isa te ya na. Isi te ya ya na ha ya. Tia. Ha ya o anasa kaneka. Anasa ha ya na ya na ya kini ya. Ya. ダネ、ダネ。うん。ちょんばりやたとしなきにやとととしきかなたちょろんばりやとにゃこまりやと。はるべやなひやにきやた。あきやにきにわたでにわたた。さたやなきやたわ。いや。おで。Ina hala ketano. Ina hala. Safira. Safira. Iana kiana ha. Kyoto iana kiata. Kutala malaha kita miha. Miha kiana yakawa. Yaka. Chania. Chania kona tutashinaka Shakira. Chania toma toshino meri. Konia taka utuna fandana kona kata ta ta ta. Nia na podi. Nia nia libu. Oshi nia la podi nia na. Chania. Chania kona. Oshina. Chania poto. 
Ana. ¿Qué es? Ana. Ya me iba. Vale. Notaya ka nishkana kitna. Si na tunta. Ya no. おしゃけりとかもたいきやこにかみみみなにやこんなたたしみがおりやたこたしなこんりやこんなたてたにゃなにおちょちょちょしまこなかにやとこにたてこにやたフランキーこにやたこなたじゃこなたしなこなあいら
Okay. okay. Take the time, Sakura. Thank you. So, what shall we talk about now, guys? <laughs> that was pretty intense. He that was here. Leo, but I think it's Caitlin. Wait, what? What? <laughs> 14 straight hours. You're a machine. <laughs> a machine. I am Terminator. No, sorry. I, I like, lost that thought for a second. I, it took me a couple seconds. I don't know. I just It comes out, and it's... Some of it, I'm like, oh, crap. I, like, stumble upon my words, I feel. And then... I don't know. It's just, Sabrina really taught me a really valuable lesson. You just gotta let go, and there you go. You're going. It's just like, you're on the train track, and you keep chugging, and that sounded a little weird, but you know what I mean. That didn't sound weird. <laughs> it was awesome. And it's like, you know... It's very profound. Yeah, there, there's comfort in numbers, and then when we all just started doing it, then we had no reason to hold back because we were all now vibrating going, oh yeah, this is freaking awesome. The out? Say that again? Sorry, never mind. Hmm. I was talking to my daughter, sorry, I forgot I was unmuted. Oh, it's okay. Do, 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 do. I think one thing I've realized with the, um, the new languages is I tend to mess up when I'm speaking English, so I don't really worry when I'm chatting in the other language as well. I know, yeah, it's the same here. Yeah. I've always stuttered sometimes, and it's happened to me a couple of times in front of my friends, and they're like, what the hell? And I'm like, I'm sorry, it's just, <laughs> I'm not speaking English today, it's not working out. And they're like, oh, okay, but um, it's kind of embarrassing when it happens, but you get used to it, I guess. It's only it's embarrassing sad. at first until you understand that that it doesn't make you, it's not something to be ashamed of, it's something that needs to be exposed to the outside world. Right. It's just scary yeah. at first. Um, yeah. And like Jaguar, like, you know, when, or Nicholas, when I'm out and about, if I have the feeling, I just start to speak if I'm at the cash register or with friends, and I'll just start it in whatever language is coming out, and they, you know, kind of turn their head like a lost puppy, huh? you know, idea. And... Um, it just now it feels like I was actually talking with the entity that was in them in recognition and give that person something. I don't know, and they, I got something too because they communicate back telepathically. Well, the, the reason, because so, most people would yes. think it's just another language at first, but if they turn yes. and pay attention, yes, yes, then that yes, means that they they're connecting with it. Excellent. That's it. That's the best way to say it. Beautiful. I do it to my kids in public all the time, like. I yell, I, 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 like, yell at them and yeah, yell, so it doesn't sound so mean. That's funny. <laughs> when they're, like, not, when they're not, when they're walking away from me, I'm like, Quiero tu te desiquedarme. <laughs> like, loud in the middle of Target, and people just, like, look at me, I just keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I just, okay. they, what are they going to, what are they supposed to think? They don't know if it's a real language. Right. I think, it, think you're Mexican. Start looking at you weird if you yelling at them in Arcturian. Uh, try to speak ply yell when I when in the store. Oh, you okay? <laughs> they think you're insane. They'd be like, is that, is that guy having a stroke or something? <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, man. That's how they speak. That's how the Playa speak. That's what I've been getting. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It <laughs> kind of reminds scary. me of like a little bit of Native American chanting. And who knows? Maybe they were speaking. They were speaking to um, the Playa a lot. Who knows? Yeah, true. Maybe that's where they learned that language. Mhm. Mm Definitely. Well, like it's they have their own language. They all, most of the native tribes don't have written language. They just have their words and mm -hmm. expressions and ideas. They don't even have written language. It's so, who are, the who are the Hopi tribe? Who are they connected to? Then, does anyone have any information on that? 
the Hopi. You've heard of the Hopi? Yeah, I don't remember at the moment. Maybe somebody else does, though. Because there's a lot of prophecy in that, and um, there's a lot on the internet. Are you talking what? about the one that has to that relates to the blue star Kachina? Correct. Okay. All right. Yeah, they there. The prophecy was, uh, if I'm correct, because I remember I used to watch Tila Tequila. She <laughs> was, yeah, she was really obsessed with this stuff, and she said that the world was going to end, and that's when I, back then when I was really not, I was, I was awake in a sense, but in a negative way, and I viewed things really negatively. So she yeah, said I was a little bit like that as well. Up, and all this stuff, the blue star Kachina, the meteor was going to hit Earth, everybody was going to die, children were going to suffer, and I was like, oh my god, what the hell. And um, Yeah, it, it wasn't, <laughs> I didn't think it was really a good prophecy, to be honest. Well, it was all a lot sure. of interpretation, wasn't it? I mean, you can interpret oh, yeah. any prophecy in any way. We were talking about apocalypse the other night, and actually, if you go into the etymology of the word apocalypse, it doesn't mean anything like that. All it means is revolution. Mm -hmm. so it's a big change. Bingo, exactly. That's it. Exactly. <sighs> so some people who are doom and gloomers, as I like to call them, um, they would like to try and take all these prophecies and make it in some fantasy of destruction and death because that's what they love in their life, that's what excites them, and they try to spread that around others, and it, it spreads like a mind virus sometimes. Exactly. A bit like violence, how it spreads in a prison. <laughs> pretty much, how, when I watched her, I pretty much just got really corrupted about that stuff. She said she was talking to Lyrans and stuff, but she said that there was a soul harvest and everybody's going to kill each other, and I'm like, oh my god, no, what the hell. And I just laughed. I was like, that's it. I'm, that's enough. That's just enough. I'm, I, I don't like that. So, And then I found this group. Well, that was... A really a long time later now. I was you have, I don't know. may have spent the last few months looking for us, Caitlin, but we have spent <laughs> our entire lives looking for you. Da 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 <laughs> Now that the Queen is here <laughs> Oh my god. Now we can move forward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Now um, the Queen knows who she is, we can move <laughs> forward. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I think I know like, thyself, love thyself. Caitlin, the biggest question for you is how many planets are you queen of? I have no clue. Exactly. Yeah. You may be queen of one race, but that's just one that you know of. <laughs> I don't even know the name of a race. Oh, I know it's elves, but like I don't know the names. There's different elves. So. Oh, I said fire elves yesterday. I meant to say blood elves. Blood elves. They're yeah, the fire... ones with the red eyes, red hair. Yeah, fire elves didn't really resonate, but um, yeah, no, fire elves, elves are, are we fire elves are like core being plasma being. They're not mm -hmm. really elves, but that's the closest thing they would be called. Yeah, they have like, red eyes too. Oh, a wow. lot of them, yellow, gold, uh, red, uh, orange. Yeah, it's I resonate with that too. Interesting. High elves usually have like. Uh, really light, light, light eyes, usually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the other platinum. one was wood elves, which usually have darker eyes, amber, brown. Uh, they can be green, hazel. You know, they have a, a lot of different colors in the in the wood elf kingdom. Is my family you played too much Skyrim? <laughs> What's that? I never played it. I played it once for like five minutes. That was fun. I was. I made Skyrim myself. has everything. Yeah, in you it. love that. Skyrin has the Khajiits, but that well, to me, they represent the Lurens, kind of. The Reptilians, and I used to play Oblivion, I still play it, and I'm a nerd when it comes to Oblivion, man. That's the point of Skyrim, so you get used to being yes. avatar of these other races, so then you're like, oh, these races are cool. This I just is remember not happening by awesome. chance. Yes, damn, now correct. Awesome. The only thing Sorry, about no. it is I always felt bad every time I had to kill a dragon. Yeah, you should feel freaking bad. Yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, it's funny mind you, if anything, anything that tries to attack you and tries to kill you, there's nothing wrong in self-defense. You just never, yeah. ever, ever, ever do it to kill somebody. 
never ever have that intention that I'm going to kill you. Just well, self-defense. We did used to go dragon slaying in the old days. Only certain people, though. Yeah, wow. as well, unfortunately. Some of, some of us enjoyed the dragons. They called me Draconis Cacitori. Oh, that's a cool name. Sounds pretty badass. Dragon catcher. The one that sucks off the dragon. Everybody gets badass names. Come on. What, that was a name a long time ago. That was not That was one of my lives as a dragon slayer. That's cool, though. Dragon slayer. Well, somebody needed to take care of them because they lived on the surface at a time. And we couldn't live with them. They were, you know, they couldn't help it. They would start fires and, you know, eat all our animals. It was like we'd put up, it's like making farms and putting animals in cage in fences was like a buffet for them. Dinner time, honey. Exactly. <laughs> what were they going to do? It's free food. <laughs> they don't care about money or poverty. What do they care about that? They're just dragons. They, they also don't really care about cooking their food as well. They just fly down, give it a little burn. Sometimes they fry it. <laughs> give it a little burn. They barbecue it. Yeah, toast it up. <laughs> oh, poor farm animals. Do they eat humans too? Did they eat humans? I mean, if they got in the way. I don't know if home. dragons actually. I don't know what drag actual dragons ate. I don't know. I hope it wasn't cats. <laughs> they probably ate like sheep and stuff. They they probably didn't go after humans because they looked like they had tongues. They didn't look like food. Yeah, and they probably tasted bad as well because humans do put <laughs> quite a lot of rubbish in their bodies. And from my knowledge, from my connections as well, we that um, mostly probably smelled humans sick. quite offensively smelling to a lot of ra other races um, if we met in the flesh because of the way we eat and the way what we put in our body and the way we live. Yeah, when when we get afraid or have anxiety or, or, or worry or any negative emotion, that, that chemical secretes from your reptilian brain poisons you, it fills your body with almost reptilian venom, makes pockets, knots, uh, and we do that as a natural instinct because when we are afraid, the natural instinct is to make yourself smell like you're sick, but the problem is that you're actually making yourself sick. And the more you do this, we don't need to do it anymore. That's the thing. There's no one trying to eat us. <laughs> so the idea is that we get out of that fear-minded survival mentality and just follow the smooth path of the synchronicities out of love and passion and joy. As the sun is shining on your face, it's like a beam of rays of light. <laughs> Alright, okay. I had, to, I had to do it. It had to come out. I don't know. I don't even know. Now I'm like imagining dragons eating cats. That's not a good thing. I don't think they wanted cats. Cats are basically like reptiles. They Maybe didn't cats want... are too small. Cats and are cat aren't they? They're too, um... Ugh. <laughs> that's, what, that's what comes into my, my head is cats are their familiars. Yeah, the dragons never went for cats. That's that would just be painful for them to. I don't know why they that would be like poison to them. My cat reminds me of a lizard. That might yeah, be a little. Their cats are, uh, you know, the uh, the light reptilians in a sense. <laughs> Aw, kitty, you're a light reptilian. So if there were. <laughs> We can say that no. reptilians, in some sense, are dark elves and Lyrans are light elves. But that's not what they are at all, but I'm just saying that's a, you know, an analogy. Dark elves. Do they still exist? Yes. Yes, of course. They don't die. They're eternal. The darkness is eternal just as the light is, but elves are eternal in the sense that they can stay in one body for... Yeah. Yay! <laughs> unless, this body. unless they give their necklace to Aragorn. And then yeah, unless they give their jewelry away, I guess. 
Yeah. <laughs> now your my life is yours. My life is attached to this this stone. And I bought so it like, from K Swift. So like do they just turn old when they give away their jewelry then? Did what's her face turn old then? No. Or did she just like die? Like I think it was more up? well <laughs> it's symbolic energy giving. Yeah. That whole the whole book is just one big symbolic kind of the idea that she surrendered her love to a man, a human, was giving up her mortality in a sense. Because she knew she would die when he dies, in a sense, her heart would die a little bit. Mm -hmm. So okay. by loving a mortal person, you know, you are giving away your by being in love, you're... <sighs> you got to think about that. I, I understand it. I just... Don't know how to put it in words? Yeah. It's out of words right now. Mm-hmm. Well. Messy human love. <laughs> <laughs> in many descriptions. Is that what we're talking about? Love right now? I don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> that that's funny. It's funny that uh it starts off as talking about aliens and always ends up talking about love. <laughs> Imagine that. That's how it's that's supposed to be. <laughs> what did she say? Uh, I don't know, I didn't hear what she said. <laughs> Human nature. Yeah. The mundane nature. Oh. Human nature. Yeah. Sorry. I like the word mundane for some reason. I like it better than human. I always loved the word melancholy. <laughs> melancholy. I just, I just. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Yes, yeah, a wonderful word. It reminds me of, of a, a watermelon and a collie dog mix together. <laughs> I saw a picture of there was um there's a picture of this uh, mel a watermelon with legs and a like a white <laughs> tail and it just said melancholy underneath it. It just reminded me of it. It was brilliant. I would probably do that if it didn't exist. Now I'm really uh, I want to do that now. Stole my idea. It's not fair. Did anyone, just as a random question, did anyone when they were younger, growing up, and you're learning new words and stuff like that, and you see a new word, or you find out a new word that you haven't taught, I mean, learned in school, whatever, and then all of a sudden, in the next sort of month or weeks um, after that, you just see this word popping up everywhere? Yes. You had that experience as well? Yeah, that happens to me. Is it just because we're now aware of the word and so we're looking for it and we see it, or is it is it well, something more? Well, because you didn't contain it, you could not perceive it before. Dave, yeah, this this yeah. is what I'm. Yeah, yeah. So things are right in front of you all the time that you cannot perceive unless you're at your highest excitement. All the time, you're always in a state of hypnosis. Meh. You just gotta. Do whatever. This is what we do. We come here and we raise our vibration so we can see more of what's right in front of our face. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Well put. I know what's in front of my face. The A laptop! Dun, dun, dun. A computer screen? <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> or your nose. Well, you were in front of my face too, but you kind of just left. Hello, everybody. What's up? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What's up? I love that, that movie. That party last night was awfully crazy. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'm not going to finish that. that I'm not going to finish that chorus. <laughs> I liked it. I like Scary Movie 3 when Scream is just behind the curtain. 
paint playing Marco Polo. I think I stopped after know. Scary Movie Two. I just couldn't keep watching them. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, no, that wasn't Scary Movie Two. It was Scary Movie One. What am I saying? God damn. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Everyone knows that one. Well, they probably forget if they kept watching them. If you want to watch a really good film about aliens, yes, there's a there's one that's been banned by the UN. It was made in the 80s, and it's called La Belle Vert, the Beautiful Green. Now, if you can find this on online, it's online everywhere. You can watch it. You'll see exactly why it's been banned. It it it, it, it will be a U, a uh, rating, but you'll see exactly why they banned it. <coughs> Uh, it's all in French as well, but there is subtitles in English. So, can you write that in the chat box? Vert. Is Vert oh, purple? Vert. Isn't it? A beautiful green. I think that's how you go. It might be Le Vert Belle. I think I screwed my colors up in French. Oops. I swear, Bears was purple. I thought it was. Thank you, Laura. Hello, everybody, again. Hi. Hi. Welcome back. Thank you. Oh. Laura is quick on the draw, man. Woo! You already got the link now. <laughs> You're welcome. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, what shall we talk about? What did you I know, miss? Last night, guys, you guys, last night I had a dream. That I was in a like a it was it was like a swimming pool but it was different than normal swimming pool. Um, maybe it was like long and really um, wide and long, but I was swimming in it and there were some other people but I didn't recognize those people. And that was kind of odd because I never you know I never dreamed something like that. You didn't recognize the people that were with you? I, I did not. Was it outside or indoors? It was, um, I didn't really see it. Maybe, I think it was outside. Hmm. But anyway, that, I just remembered when somebody was talking about water, I just remembered my dream last night. Certain words trigger your memories. Yeah, it does. It does. But uh, did they look different from us, or did they look the same? Uh, you know, they look they look different. They didn't have um, I mean, they, they did have human body, but um, it wasn't it wasn't that physical, like you know, like flesh. Mm hmm. Sort of physical, you know. It wasn't like that, but you know, they were there. There weren't too many of them. They were like um, maybe four, five or six of them, or maybe more, maybe like nine. Oh. Uh, but I, you know, I don't know who they were. Well, Any, anybody can get something from you know the way I describe it. Wait, so you said they didn't have a human body. What was their body like again? Um, kind of like in between um, human and light body, you know. Oh. What if it was your guide? The guides? Like my, my spirit guide? Could be. Or... I'm not sure. It could be some type of being that yeah. we know of or we that we don't know of. From somewhere else? Yes, could be. Mary. Yes. Um, symbolically, water is a symbol of, of emotion. So um, you could have been you could have been swimming around in your emotions and with a uh, load of unknown people or new entities, and you're kind of testing the waters of your emotions between those entities. That's kind of what I got from it. Okay, I I didn't I didn't get the first part. I oh. I got the emotion part, but 
Can you explain again? Because you, you got cut off. Yeah, yeah. Basically, I was just saying it's um, it sounds kind of like the swimming pool is is your emotional state, and you're kind of testing the waters with a load of new entities that you don't recognize currently, but mm -hmm. you're kind of you're sorting yourself out in a kind of a balancing way to, um, I guess, do something. I'm not. I'm, I haven't. I'm not. Um, not too sure on it, but it sounds like. Uh, I'm not sure. Sorry. <laughs> that kind of makes sense. You know, I'm finding new people, and I'm trying to, you know, to get um, uh, understanding of <laughs> what is going on. <laughs> And trying to test and balance that kind of makes sense to me in my life, you know. Okay, cool. Good. Yeah, I love dreams. I I have a bit of a habit for um, deciphering dreams. Ah, nice. Yeah, I used to have that as well. I used to have like loads of books, but they always used to contradict each other. Contradict each other. Right. Hey, Mary, let me ask you this question, sweetie. You had the dream there was a swimming pool, right? Yes. Well, let me ask you this, because I think you know from what I'm feeling and what I'm getting, dreams are very personal. That's why some books, you know, contradict because it comes from that own person's translation. So, for example, fire to me means warm and comfort. Fire to another person might mean, you know, danger. So, what does a swimming pool mean to you? Do you have a good experience? Bad? Is it warm? Do you like floating in the water? Is it another density for you? So, that's your own interpretation. What does the swimming pool mean to you? Don't translate it as the logical, oh, a swimming pool, but what does it mean to you? Does that make sense? Right, it does. You know? It and does. Caitlin, you had you Caitlin had a dream too. What was your dream, Caitlin, earlier you were talking about? The dream of when was this? I have a lot of dreams. <laughs> I don't know. You mentioned one today. You were somewhere like in a classroom or something and you were no, you were helping someone move. Oh, it was Franti Yeah, it was yeah. Franti I mean, was helping him move. Where were you moving? Uh, it was an apartment that he moved to, and I was helping him move the furniture. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But, right. um, no, uh, Mary, maybe they're trying to show you what element that you represent. Maybe water represents you. What you element? Feel that. Yeah, that could be it. Well, I sense water as purity, pure, pure, something pure. That's my yeah. understanding of water. Clean. It was. It was actually very clean and uh, clean water. I didn't see any impurity in it. It was a really nice and um, clean pool. Mm -hmm. Maybe you just remembered like a fragment of something being with your spiritual family or something like that. That could be it. it could be many possible outcomes, but maybe. It'd be uh, uh, sorry. It'd be best to ask somebody if you would like to who channels or yeah. Um, Actually, I'm gonna meditate on it. Now that I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Because usually when I meditate on it, I I get something. That's good. That's Always. it. And if it works for you, and it's gonna work for you, you'll get it. Right. <laughs> if not, then what's the point? What's the what's the point of you getting something you're not gonna use? Right. Mm -hmm. It's very quiet. Contemplating, dear. <laughs> Franti Shack, do you have anything to say? I guess. Oh. Yes, I. I was curious about uh, the dream. What what? Uh, you say Roxy to that? It was that I was telling Roxy? You started the question, but I didn't hear what you wanted to say to that. 
Oh, so Roxy was asking me about the dream that I was helping you move your, the furniture in your new apartment in the dream. That was the dream. It was funny, though. It was very interesting. Very, well, expand very on it. Give us some more details about it. He was moving a couch. The couch was maybe a, a pale emerald green with uh, like a white blink. No, 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 no. Beige, 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 I can't, I can't, beige-ish blanket on it. And there was a bed, a TV. It was nighttime. <sighs> the walls were beige, too, I think. That's really, I can't really say the details. It was like two rooms connected into one. Bottom, I don't remember exactly, but I do remember the upstairs. It was like a living room slash bedroom connected to each other. There was like an opening. I'm just wondering if uh, it has anything to do with, because um, cause you said it's two rooms connected, that he was moving to one that was connected to the other one? Yeah, it, it was like an upstairs. You go upstairs, say there's a little lounge area, living room type thing. There's an opening. Say there's, yeah, it's an opening. You go into that opening, and there's a there's a bedroom. And there's a bed there. You could watch TV or something like that. Um, but there's no doors there. It's just an opening. So that's what I remember. Well, it may have something yeah. with the... Uh... You've been here probably in my flat. <laughs> It's not exactly uh, as you describe it, but very close. You know, it uh, kind of it uh, it brings that feeling. You know, uh, how would uh, someone feel when stepped in for first time and don't really look around? <laughs> well, it was interesting. I was really like, why am I having this dream? But well, there's a reason why I had it. So, what were you saying, Nick? <laughs> you had something. No, I, I, um, I was just trying to see and picture it more. No, what I was going to say is um, because uh, Human Colonies or Max asked me to make like a, a separate entity or whatever that's like connected but not really. And connected but not really. But he's like asking people from human colonies to like help me setting up the YouTube channel, Facebook, and uh, like do doing the webinars, which I have one tomorrow at ten. So I don't know if you're available, front, but <laughs> but uh, no, because he's asking for people. So maybe the idea is that he'd be helping me with the new new site and channel. But I don't know. That's that could be one. You know. Wait, wait. who could be helping you? Franz, and you, because you were helping. Okay, sure. But that's up to you guys. That's why I'm seeing it because that's what's happening today for me. So it just made, it, it's weird that it, like connects. Okay. Well, yeah, tomorrow, I was kind of. I'm coming home early tomorrow, so I guess I could help you. <laughs> but um. Well, I'm, no, I'm not saying I'm, I'm, I'm not saying you have to help me or anything. <laughs> I'm just saying that's what I just. What? Oh, no, 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 I'm willing to help you. <laughs> if you want that, do you want that or no? Yeah, I'm, yeah, everybody can help. Okay, okay, <laughs> all right. But I would then, definitely like the elf queen to help, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I think she just kind of kicked in there when she was saying, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that didn't sound Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> I know. She, I feel like she's more serious and she's kind of stubborn. Or maybe that's my Nana. That's a part of my Nana. I don't know. Well, I would, I'm definitely want you to know that that was definitely a, the <laughs> confirming uh, channeling I've ever done. <laughs> for myself. <laughs> Did I just... For yourself. Because... I had no idea what any of these things meant, and then you're like, oh, that's what she's... It meant it all connected perfectly. Mm -hmm. It was just really... And then when I, was set, when I was thinking about things and not telling you, you already knew what I was about to say. And you said it right after, so I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Is it a telepathic thing? I don't know. Maybe. Well, it's that plus the fact that you knew your grandmother and I didn't. <laughs> well, I just... Because I know how she is, and I like I just click, and I just know. I, just, I, so I knew I always knew she was into what you told me she was into, but not that to that degree. Like, damn, that's oh, crazy. Wh oh well, I forget what all of it, but <laughs> it's okay. But um, was it that bad or anything? Uh, was it what I said? One part, but that was the worst thing I saw. The part that I said? Yeah. What did I say that was worse than that? You... I don't know. I don't remember you mentioning anything else. I thought no. you, that was... Oh, no. Never mind, then. We're miscommunicating. <laughs> okay, whatever. We could talk about this later. Okay, what... What I want to say is when would you like me to help you? What time? Oh. N no, uh... I, no, he's. I'm just starting a new channel in sight. Oh, sorry. I thought you wanted me to help you with the webinar and stuff. Oops. Oh yeah, that too. I, yeah, I mean, well, I need somebody to host it because I you don't know how to do any of that stuff. But oh, I, I do. I do. Okay, and then I mean, at least because I don't have a site or a YouTube channel or Facebook page yet for it, we could just still keep it on Human Colonies for now. But. Okay. Well, it, it depends what time the webinar is, though. Oh, yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Tomorrow I'm supposed to do it at 10 in the morning, my time. Oh, crap. Well, you have school, so... Well, I get off at, like, eh, maybe 11.30. It's eh. fine. Don't worry about it, Caitlin. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can still help what I w really was actually talking about. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's change the subject now. It's a little boring. Let's Nobody has okay. any idea what we're talking about with the because we're not saying <laughs> the details. Oh crap! This is terrible you know, for the women. Like, what entity are you talking about? <laughs> I don't even know. I forget her name. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, crap. What should we talk about now? Um. Let's talk. Uh. No. <laughs> let's talk about aliens, like we always do, guys. Here come the man in black and galaxy defenders. How are the men in black? Wow, that went to a little British accent there. <laughs> How are Harry. the men in black? Bloody hell, Harry. We can always talk about movies. Oh my god. You guys need to movie. Mr. Nobody. That's kind of long, but it's good. You guys should watch the movie Step Brothers. That's a good movie. <laughs> and Paul. Paul's a good movie, too. Paul is good. Paul's funny, money, funny, money. He's very, very clever. Yes, Dude. it is. There's if also a new movie called The Guardians of the Galaxy. That's coming out in August, isn't it? Yeah. I can't wait for that. Me, too. I also heard there's another one called... Um, Something about Jupiter. Jupiter ascending, I think it was? Yeah, Jupiter ascending. I heard that, that one's awesome. also a good one. I hear that the new Ninja Turtles movie that comes out in August is actual Tortugians. Ninja Turtles. I don't know the theme song for that. God damn. Well, it's... Not, it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in a Half Shell, Turtle Power. <laughs> Max is going to kill us, you guys. I know, this is such a waste of it. Max is actually like, going to murder us. You He's guys memorize that? What, because we're, ha we're having fun? <laughs> we're having fun. <laughs> uh, it's enjoyment. It's going to be like, this is not relevant, you guys. This is not relevant. Uh, fun earlier, having a bit of fun with the Borg and the Borg eyes and all that. <laughs> like, we were all laughing, we were all smiling. <laughs> Sorry, Max. Hey, <laughs> oh, come on. Anything. I was just put myself on mute and just didn't say <laughs> It's a spontaneous webinar. What do you expect, man? I mean, come on. But we also had done a lot of work, if you think about it. Oh, yeah. 
We did languages. We did some dream stuff. We did some interpretation stuff. And, and just let me throw in these other movies. Uh, Edge of Tomorrow, which is the theme of Live, Die, Repeat, Tom Cruise. Then there's Lucy with Johannes, whatever her last name is, Gorgeous Girl. The movie Lucy with uh, uh, Morgan Freeman about the mind, and she gets... A, oh, that uh, one's supposed to be a really good one. I saw a yeah. trailer on that. That's yeah, really good. Awesome. Then you have, like she said, Jupiter Ascending. Then you have The Giver is another idea of all of these are let go of the idea of shoot them up, bang, bang, blow them up, you know, expendable things to, you know, all off-world abilities of humans and interactions are definitely moving into another phase. Really awesome stuff coming um, have you guys ever seen the movie Waking Life? Nerf. No one? Nerf. Oh, my God. What was it called? What is it? Waking Life. No. <laughs> is that right. Christopher Walken in? Um, no. 80s. 80s film. Waking Life, um, I believe, was made in the 90s. I'm pretty positive about it. In the later 90s or... You guys want... We can also go back to the 80s called Mars Attack. <laughs> Mars Attack? What? It's an 80s movie. Oh, what a have film. You, That's have brilliant. You, have you guys ever seen the movie Elf? <laughs> I own it. With Will Ferrell? He's my favorite. <laughs> He's my favorite. Um, oh, what's the good? What's the best line he said in that movie? What uh, do you elf? What's your favorite color? No, 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 no. Just a cotton-headed ninny muggins. No, 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 no. Oh God, damn it! How do I remember this? I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love that. I like smiling. Smiling is my favorite. Max is actually going to freaking kill us. I'm sorry, Max. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Hey, at least I'm related to elves. There we go. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's, all good. it's Brandon. It's not, not Max. Oh, oh uh, is he even there? Max is never going to see this. Probably not. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave Fran to check. And, um, Sabrina are in charge of human colonies. Um, Counts as well. Damn. Okay, I'll take this chance to say good night, everybody. See you oh. soon. Good night, Safira. Good night. Good night. We love you, Thank you. Love you guys too. Sweet Bye, Roxy. Bye. Mary, Bye. Rory, yeah. Caitlin, Fonda, Bye. Dan, and Bye. who's the one with the pink flower? Who's that? Oh, Audrey. 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 Okay, Good night, Audrey. Audrey. Uh -huh. Good night. Good night. Yeah, the one with um, Christopher Walken in is Brainstorm. Oh, yeah. Everyone's got to watch that. Yeah, because, right. Yeah, yeah and, uh, if you've seen it, Roxy, you understand as well, because that last yeah. part is just so fantastic. It's like watching Men in Black at the end. A little bit. It's very, very similar. Without giving it away, it's very similar to that. There are three movies of Men in Black. Ah, uh, the first one. Yeah, he's talking about the first one. Um, but it's very first. interesting to see how Men in Black has changed and how our perspective changed. And then in the third one, they started bringing in the the reality of what we're now talking about. Which yeah, is dimensional. really mind blowing. That was Moon Prison. The prison of Matrix. Best the one. Matrix. Uh, uh, are seagulls spiritual creatures? They're rats with wings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you guys no, had any seagull experiences? Yeah, squirrels as well. <laughs> Squirrel. I love squirrels. Yeah, squirrels. I feel like <laughs> are like really like like us. Just tree rats. What about bunnies <laughs> and rabbits? Well, squirrels don't eat everything. Rabbit, rabbits, the one. Yeah. My friend, my friend walks her rabbit. 
he walks a rabbit. Uh, you know, I've never eaten rabbit, but for some reason lately, every time someone says rabbit, I get, like, hungry. I don't... It is quite tasty. It's your draconian nice. side. Yeah, it's nice. I've I don't never... know why I have this... Uh, it's kind of bothering me. I think it's a draconian thing. Yeah, I do, too. Spanish I just got thing. that vibe. Yeah, look, it's very in Spain. A Spanish thing. Oh, we got a rabbit. Um, over here, we used to eat a lot of rabbit and hare as well. But not so much anymore. There's a lot of wild game we have over here. Poor rabbits. What do the Yael eat? Mostly like shakes? Like <laughs> Shakes? Like what so are they? Fast. They don't eat meat, I don't. I don't think most extraterrestrials eat meat. Some do. Oh, yes. I heard. Really, some, some do probably really only eat meat. I expect it's probably both spectrum, all spectrums, isn't it? So I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to think about it. <laughs> I know humans are a really huge meat eater, so humans are. I like stew. Stew's good. Soup's good. What is with your face, Nikola? <laughs> I guess I can make my eyes change colors, but if I, I have heard to, there's a spell for that. Somebody That's called me multiple that personality that. disorder. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I want to make them glow orange in the irises. I like orange. It's a cool color. It's oh almost time like to begin integrating Rock's second personality. Dun dun dun! Rock. I've almost fully integrated into the the, the 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 Black Panther, but I'll be back. Oh okay. Ah, I'm trying to write down some elf words, but it's kind of difficult. Everybody's so quiet. Why am I so lonely? Why? Why do you do this to me? Hey, Caitlin. <clears throat> yes. Yes. Caitlin, you ready? Let me give you something. In the Orient, in the East, Far East, there's an idea called comfortable silence. In the comfortable silence idea, you are musing with your own idea of whatever it is, contemplation, and there's nothing that needs to be spoken because we don't need to entertain ourselves. We are entertaining ourselves in the fashion of inside of us, not entertaining over there and making sure like your guests are entertained or you're missing something. So the idea is when when you have the urge to speak, that's going to be some deep information. But just worried about no one speaking, don't worry about that. Be in the comfortable silence and enjoy each other's energy that way. And of course, we are speaking telepathically as well. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is true. We can just stay silent. We can stay awkwardly silent until someone talks. Yeah, but just be at peace about it. It's not awkward. Yeah. It's That's not why awkward it's at all. In fact, in that, in, that, in that film that I mentioned, The, the Beautiful Green, the Belvert, they actually have concerts of silence. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> awesome. I can't wait to watch this movie now. Oh, you're going to so much love it if you haven't seen it before. You're just going to laugh your tits off. Seriously, it's so funny. <laughs> love your tits off. <laughs> Sorry, English expression. <laughs> no, 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 no. People do it over here, too. It's all good. It's funny, though. <laughs> I haven't heard it for a while. Good one. So good one. God. I'm like, what is this? Why am I just... I keep trucking with the, these elvish words. We'll have at least one, two, three, four, Isn't five. Isn't tits a um, banned word on the radio in America as well? Isn't it one of those seven words you're not allowed to say? I'm not sure. Yeah, George Carlin, the, um, one of the most amazing comedians ever. Oh, yeah. He, had, um, he did a, a, a sketch about um, the seven words you cannot say. Because you're supposed to be in America, you're supposed to be able to say any word you want because you're supposed to have these rights to be able to say these things. But you can't say these things on radio. Mm -hmm. Gun control. I'll try and find a link for you. Uh, oh, I, I know what the seven words are. They just came back to me. Oh my gosh, never mind. <laughs> 
Yeah, I remember his whole stand-up routine. I love it when he talks about stuff and all of your stuff. He is great to be in. Yeah, then you got to go to someone else's house, and then you got to get a smaller bit of your stuff. Yes. But yes. they don't like your stuff in their place because that's where their stuff belongs. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's so profound. That's brilliant. I think I um, I think I, what inspired me is when he when I first heard him talk about religions, and when you can't hold a candle to a clergyman when it comes to bullshit, and um. <laughs> It's quite interesting because now a lot of his views, I, I see now are different now because I understand the different dimensionalities of, of life. So I see his humor a little differently now. But yeah, he's very, very clever. Very clever guy. Yes, he was. Yes. Awesome dude. Hey, Dan, did and you get on? Uh, carry on, Roxy. Good. Sorry, what was that? I was asking, um, did you understand my last thing in the text? It wasn't necessarily it wasn't necessarily a, a misrepresentation of a single being. You didn't misunderstand it. All it was is you got the download and you couldn't quite equate it because you didn't have the three D things equatable. And then your gave me to give you the thing, and now that's going to expand from there. So there you go on those aliens. Okay, cool. So the when when the being arrived in my dreams, he wasn't so much saying that that was his name. He was saying that this is a whole race of beings. Yes, these are new 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 introductory races, and and okay. The idea is you have a obviously a, a language uh, gift that you're not afraid of, and uh, well, you know we're not afraid of it all. We're just learning them in that fashion. So, you know, you're going to get more of that idea and because you speak them all kind of already. Because, uh, let's see, how is the best way to say this? You are going to be a facilitator of helping the other people come in that will bring, will more of the people come in, uh, allow their own light language to come fruition because you will understand all of those language and interpretation as well as uh, Jaguar. Is that right? Is there a Jaguar? In the group, Correct. yeah. yeah. Okay. He has the he has translatable ideas in two, but he's going to translate different languages other than you. What you're getting is the download civilization, and then when you get the download languageable language of that civilization, you uh, will get the equate. That was the introduction to them in a whole vast of what you would call civilizations, not individual entities. Make sense? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just trying to uh, connect the things together because I I received a download saying that an aspect, well, a, a parallel life of mine is, mm -hmm. is also these beings. So am I of these races as well? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Very much so. Okay. Of course. It's starting yeah. to make a bit more sense. Absolutely. Yeah, and ag again, you know... We, we all know there's a whole bunch of alien in different civilizations watching them, but as it closer closer expands, more come in to help in the now, you know, when their contract is now and our now, and they'll bring their introductions and their impartations when we're allowed to really realize how many beings, how many languages, how many understandings we all are capable of, and you will be a representation of that in your aspect that you will soon to realize. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it does. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome, baby. Speaking of languages, I I wrote down some words, and I'm wondering if anybody can confirm whether they are Elvish or not. Would you be willing to... Um, you got us all here. We're all willing. Rock and roll. Come on. Okay. I'm just going to go through them. Um... Mai kai inwa taha kinwa ahe nahae kanahe ayana minalae. Those are the words. Okay, let's do them individually. Mae kai inwa taha kinwa ahe. I think you got this, Nicholas. 
I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. But uh, that's okay. But I think you, I, it's now, so don't worry about that. Um, I think you you can help her. Your first question: What what are they elvish? Caitlin, that was your question. Are they elvish? Hello. Is she there or no? I guess she disappeared. Okay. But I don't know if you heard the words. They they sounded elvish to me, all of them. I don't speak yeah, that I language. Yeah, I, I thought she was saying something in elvish. Yeah, in elvish. Yeah, exactly. So I think I think her question was, were they all that? And I think so because I know that you have a very great familiarity with that. Yeah, and, it's gonna, uh, wait, her elvish is going to come so smooth for her. Mm-hmm. He's just it's it's just a matter of her letting go it get the because Elvish doesn't have a lot of edges. Right, right. That's a good way to say it. Have you told her that? Does she know that? I just I just I, I just thought of it just now. I wasn't really Bingo. I think you need to tell her that because maybe that'll give them a different perspective and not make it so like uh like you said, boxed in and it'll be more flowing for her and then because she seems like a very nice butterfly to me and she likes to just flutter by. And I think that language would be the same thing for her, you know? Yeah, exactly. Definitely. Awesome. I don't know where she went, though. Yeah, yeah that was a bit odd. Oh, she must have dropped and back in again. We were talking yeah. about you. There's two of you. <laughs> There's two of you on the screen. Awesome. Uh, excellent. Wow, I just connected. Do you guys hear me? Yeah, we hear you now. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Did you hear the words I said? There's a, another parallel version of you here as well. Yeah, yes. you're meeting your past self. I'm what? <laughs> <laughs> the one from two minutes ago is here, too. <laughs> oh, great. Hey there, other self. Okay. Um, it seems you got she's left again. Yeah, she's left. She's, she's going to go see her future self now. Yes. I'm, I'm here. And she's gonna go catch up. <laughs> Do you guys hear me? Wow, she really didn't. She really isn't here. I know. I, I'm I don't here. know what's going on with her. She'll pick it up. <laughs> it doesn't even say she drops. That's the old thing. It just says she joins. Right. What? That is weird. You guys are lying. This is a lie. What's nine up to, Nick? Nine, <laughs> nine, nine. <laughs> Nothing good, I tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> um, nine. I would like to channel him again, but I'm not going to channel anything until tomorrow. Give it one more day. Three days of, almost three days of fasting off of channeling. But, yeah, the only entity I was able to channel after... The, we closed the colony, uh, the Aaron colony, was uh, Loki, the god of the party. That yeah, was, that was interesting, Charlie, Nick. I like that. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, it was good to hear from Loki. And uh, ever since, I haven't been able to really channel, and I haven't, because I've just been so exhausted since that whole thing happened. Well, one of my friends had a deep connection with Loki, uh, with his DJing. Um, and with his channeling and DMT, DMT experiences. Oh, really? Yeah, because obviously us, us DJs were always part of that uh, energy, if you yeah. want to say. Yeah. That's cool. I, mean, so I, well, I need to speak to him again. He's been, he, I haven't spoken to him like for a long time. Like whatever he said, what he was talking about? Sorry, can you say that again? Did it resonate with you, what he was talking about? I don't remember. Um, I was in the template reality at the time, so pretty much anything resonated with me. <laughs> That's where I just live, so I don't know the difference anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, but I've always been someone that I, I, I sometimes I take in beliefs of others, and then I realize they're not my own, and I have to get rid of them, burn them away. <laughs> but I do love I do love to hear from everybody and everybody's version and everyone's right and everyone's got their own point of view and aspect. It's all great to discuss it and 
accept it and be tolerant of each other because that's how we reunite it won't be called tolerance eventually it would just be called love <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> I think that's actually what we're moving from. Right now we're in the age of tolerance, which isn't really tolerable. <laughs> uh, not with the laws we've got. No. no, no. Oh, that's the other age. They also call this age the age of law, don't they, because of these stupid laws that we have. Well, until the, uh, the laws catch up to natural laws. When, the, the, when our laws reflect natural laws, that's when we're a highly evolved civilization. Oh, yeah, I agree with that. Which the yeah, natural yeah. laws are very simple, so I don't know why it's so hard to do. <laughs> oh, it's engraved in our system that admirality admira admira law is really, really hard one to flick off at the moment. Yeah. Thanks to the British. <laughs> you can all blame me. I'll take all that weight on. I don't mind. Well, I'm technically a Yankee, so... What else? I'm technically a cat lover. I don't know what any of that means anyway. <laughs> Yankees are New Yorker. Is that correct? Uh, it's like... Well, there's this... I, I mean, yeah, I mean, they're in New York too, but this area, I think New England. I think it's for baseball terms. No, no. <laughs> Never well, mind. we got this expression in England that we would call um, Americans, like we call them Yanks. Yeah, basically. And that comes from the Yankee, and um, they go, well, "Oh, I'm not from New York. I'm not from New York." Rah, 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 rah. It's a bit like yeah. if you take the piss out of one of our accents, and then you say, "Oh, I'm not from that area of the country. No way. I'm not from Newcastle. I'm not from Liverpool. I'm not from." Manchester. And there's only like 30 or 40 miles difference between these cities, but the accent is completely different. Hey guys, yeah. hey guys, can you hear me? Can you hear me at all? Hello? I forget what Hello? movie that was. I don't even Nobody know what it was about, me. but he's like, oh, I think it was in the movie Kingdom of Heaven. He's like, ride north until until they speak Italian and then keep writing until they speak something different. <laughs> like those were the directions back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just caught up with that. <laughs> I can imagine it as well. <laughs> that was the GPS, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> What gets me is, I wonder what, what our language is going to be like towards the end of, well, not the end, but when the world has started to become more united. Mustare tingoro nasa wonda panyea kundoro sekinda musha budosa hesu kresu kwande isange gruoso pungo higa nande kis. We're going to all speak Pangean again eventually. <laughs> it's just where you'll just understand the, the inflection and the tone and you'll it's, it, it'll be so much it's a form of telepathy tongue talking is to each other. That's why some of, you'll start laughing. You know whatever they said was funny, but you don't know consciously what it was. I was like that um, earlier when uh, Mary said something, and I just started laughing randomly in the middle of sentence and carried on as it was going. Exactly. It happens so much. Yeah. It's yeah, I was laughing too. <laughs> yeah, I didn't understand everything that was going on. I just knew that it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's cool. So, um, 
If you were to be one mutant from the X Men, which one would you be? Be one what? Mutant. Again. <laughs> it keeps uh, feeding back. What is that? Sorry, Roxy. All right. Hang on. Hang on. I'm Thanks. I would be the most simple mutant. I just want to be the guy that has angel wings so I could fly around like a bird. And... Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't want yeah, any power. I just want to fly. I remember the one. Just get... I used to love that program when I used to be able to watch it on Sky and stuff and everything. It's brilliant. Yeah. For me, it's <laughs> All of them. I'd probably have... Um... Either a blend between Toad and Storm. Toad and Storm. <laughs> <laughs> but then, then I'd be uh, I'd be scared of uh, picking a fight with the G Geneva Convention because it would technically be weaponizing weather, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not technically. Technically, in that movie, the idea that Storm is the higher self of all weather. And Professor Xavier was the oversoul of consciousness itself. Yeah, I've never looked at it in that way. I just started thinking about it right now. But And Rogue is the super empath. That literally doesn't just love you so much, but if she just touches you with her skin, she will absorb your life so much. That's how much she loves you. Can, can, can you hear me? It's Rogue. At all. <laughs> can any of you hear me at all? Yeah, we can hear you. Yay! I don't know. Can you back. believe? It's really sick reverb on your Sorry. brother. Wait, what? Oh, no, it's gone now, but it sounded like you were stood on the outside of a cave, just like, yo! <laughs> Pretty much. So, Echo. were those words, were those words, were those words elvish, or? I believe so. I, I didn't know you were asking me at the time. Oh, I was asking anybody who thought. But, uh, what I was going to say is, I mean, I don't know a lot consciously of elvish, but I do know... There's not a lot of uh, what I say, like edges in the this, the way it sounds, you know, mm -hmm. like in English, and, and it's very smooth and um, you know graceful. I know, I know. I'm getting just different, a different dialect of it, and I don't really. Yeah, like when you that have much. three dialects already in you, that's why it's gonna be like. Until it gets more comfortable. Oh, okay. Like it's, I don't know, it's coming up, but it's smaller, and now it's gradually getting a little bigger. Like Kanahe is larger than the Mae or Kae or like from what I started from. So it's gradually growing more. Caitlin, oh, yes. when you dropped. We were just discussing something quite important. I don't know if anyone wants to bring it up who's more clear about that. And that oh, is sorry. about the way the way the words are shaped or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know yeah, if you no, that's what I was saying. They don't really have edges. They're not like like um like yeah, exactly. it's not like stops like that. I know. Uh, I don't feel like it's right when I'm... I don't know. Just... Yeah. It's no, easiest to just... Uh, you hey, probably hey. look it up for, like, the Lord of the Rings at first. That would help a lot. If I what? The one... The, the, the actual language for the, from the movie. It would help no. you understand it better. Not to say that those are all the actual words, but they could be very close. I resonate with the, um, the, the woodland... One and the Rivendell one. So that's. Does anyone that's else hear snake? snake? No. What's <laughs> that? You? I actually, I, I'm not sure what kind of <laughs> it was, but some kind of sound that was coming out earlier. 
You want to speak it? That just made me feel really warm inside. Yeah, me too. <laughs> that was awesome. That's why, I, for some reason, something wanted me to speak snake for a minute. Yeah, someone's been trying to get me to speak it all day. So I think it, yeah, there it goes. Just giving me a chance. Yeah. Sick. What if we all just let go and try to speak snake? <laughs> I got something. Sounds insectoid. Doesn't sound like snake though. I I actually had some kind of um bug creature <laughs> going through my mind as well. Yeah. What about this? It's like a. Oh, that little no. Eh. Eh. That actually sounded closer to to dark elf. Dark elf. Well, the when, the, yeah, it's like it's it's the same basically. Ah. Um, but yours, it's more words. <laughs> it's more words. No, your what you're saying is more words. Oh, really? And, no, no. and parcel tongue is more of uh, emotion. Mm -hmm. Wow, I didn't know dark elvish would sound like that. sound like they're dying because they are the shadow of death. <laughs> Whenever you do that, it reminds me of like Voldemort. <laughs> One time my friend told me a joke about Voldemort. I couldn't stop laughing. What was it? Voldemort got your nose and I just I like I just kinda breathe after that. I just Oh I know your mom's so fat she played got your nose with Voldemort and I was like what? <laughs> I don't know. I just started laughing at it for no reason. I, I fell over and I just, I don't know what it was. It's so stupid. It's funny. I laugh at the stupid stuff. Harry Potter. Come to die. The boy who lived. Come to die. Sounds no, Harry, funny. don't go. Don't go, Harry. Bloody hell, Harry. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. I have some problems. That Neville's was rubbish, like Colin. Right? That was absolutely rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Complete, <know>. utter rubbish. <laughs> one swears he got a bogey flavoured one once. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Ra you want to do some expand? Is it Ra you go by Rowie or Major or both? Um, Rowie, Ro usually. Um, Sorry. That's what people call me, so that's what... Yeah. Ready? Ready? Go. I want you to speak because, okay, the language, we went to snake, and then everyone said it was, you got two things, that it was insectoid, insect, insects, so speak it again, and I'll tell you what, what it is, and that, actually, I know you know what it is, so let's see if you can get it. Very exciting. Come on, come on. When the others were speaking in the snakeish, it was too slow, and I was speaking something while they were talking, but it was coming out really fast, and then when they stopped... I then came in and just just it just just came out. So right, right. yeah, I got spurned from somebody else speaking. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I you got spurred on. Group. But that was it was not the spurred on in relation to that was the language. It was the spurred on to create this moment of now. Through so Dan saying and Nicholas saying what insectoid. So what kind of insected thing do you vision yourself now that you have that impartation? What do you think? 
The only insectoid that comes to mind is Prey Mantis. It is dumb! I love it, I love it, I love it. Fucking awesome. <laughs> I, just, I just had written that in there. I wrote Mantis and I was going to hit the button and you said it. But, but, but Roxy, that's the only insectoid I do know of and I, I'm quite well aware of them. Uh, so it doesn't matter. That. But you made that. I know a lot of insectoids, but that was the first thing that came was boom. You know, you have your arachnoid insectoids. You have your fly mosquito type uh, insectoid idea. <laughs> There's a couple different ones out there. That mantis was all I saw you in your little black coat with your little hat in your mantis face doing the work with the hybridization program is the is part of the facilitator of that. And I was like, oh, he's a mantis. Awesome. <laughs> Say that again, it faded out. Mantis. Awesome. Awesome work. You have shark bites? Oh, uh, what? Shark bites. Yeah, sorry, there was a bit of feedback going on there. It was a bit difficult to hear you guys. Yeah, I know. Well, I got a... Please carry on. I'm going to hop off, guys. I have a uh, live radio show to do on uh, Evolution, uh, Enlightenment Evolution Network. So I'm going to hop off, and it's an hour. I'll put the link there if you guys want to click on it and listen to the show. It's a two-hour radio show about enlightenment. You can call in, too, if you want, ask any questions and stuff like that. It's another perspective, Facebook idea, and it's also a, a radio thing. So there's the link if you guys want to join. If not, I love you anyway. Either way, no. <laughs> Okay. Thank you for hanging out. Namaste. Love you all. Love you all too. Bye. 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 Nicola. Did he go? I freaking love his picture. It looks like my cat, but like a grown version of my cat. Beautiful. Beautiful! Okay. Hey, Will, what's up? What's hey. Up, hey. Hey. Welcome hey, back, Will. Will. Welcome back to the webinar. Dun, dun, dun. The language zone. The language sounds. So, Randy Shack, got anything to say in a different language? Sing a song. Sing a song for us. Magical song. Majestical song. Do you got a majestical song or or nah? I don't know. <laughs> Dan, do you have a song for us? I've got a song, but it's 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 staying inside. Why? It doesn't want to come out. Rowie, do you have a song for us? I'm a DJ, baby. <laughs> I spin I that shit. I don't sing it. <laughs> <laughs> actually, oh I do God. sing along because I've got. I'm not actually the best singer. I'm a bit tone deaf actually, but um, it's great because I can actually sing along to the music and nobody can hear me singing because everyone's out in front of the speakers. <laughs> so I can sing as loud as I want almost and get away with it, and enjoy myself <laughs> while I'm having fun with the crowd. And yeah, it's good fun. <laughs> Mary, would you care to sing us a song? You're our last hope. Come on, let's have a bit of tenacious D. <clears throat> I don't know. Nothing comes to mind. How about... 
Uh, but I want to ask you a question. Okay. Who? Everybody. Okay. Um, what did you What did you feel when you were saying those words in Elvis? Uh, <clears throat> I felt a good energy. I felt a nice energy, a, a comfortable energy. But at the same time, I feel like there is more improvement to be coming. Uh -huh. More longer words to be developed. More uh, elvish. More more elvish. The words that I'm saying, they kind of sound a bit Japanese, not going to lie. There's some words in there like... Kaede, that's a, that's a female name in Japanese. I've said that before in Elvish. Mm -hmm. um, the, the Elvish dialect that I have right now, it's kind of Japanese-like, and that's why I feel like I've always resonated with Asian cultures, because um, every time I heard Japanese or Korean, it really resonated, and I it was so familiar to me. And that's why I feel like I belong with the Asian people. <laughs> but um, it's because their culture is so uh, familiar to me. And, but it's the language, really, that really got my attention. I really loved the language so much. But, yeah, you should um, just explore your past lives with that one, then. Because oh, yeah. There's probably something going on there. there. Yeah, I think there is. Oh, parallel lives, sorry. Maybe. Maybe I'm like a Korean girl that's in school or something in my parallel life. I don't even know. <laughs> I love it, though. I love Asian people. I feel like they're my fam, even though I'm not the same race as them. <laughs> you, know, you know, Caitlin, when, uh, when you were saying um, those words, um, I felt like... Um, I wrote it down, actually. I can, I can tell you what, what my feeling was. Okay. Um, it says... Um, me and you. First it says me and you. Me and all of you are God's creators and we are now ready to interact. Uh-huh. Wow. That's, That's, what I, That's what I felt. Thank you, Mary. That was lovely. Thank you for that. Yeah. I mean it was really nice. I mean, you know, my my energy was really high enough. Thank you for that. Wow. You're welcome. See, I never got any English words from it. I just, I never tried translating it into English. I wonder how that would go. You didn't need to get the English words. You knew exactly what you were saying. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't actually translate it either. It it just came like a feeling. It just came to you. It was yeah. Feeling. I think. I never the, focused on it. So. I think what the um what the beings are trying to get us to do, instead of focusing on what they mean, is just opening up and letting the languages come out. Instead, oh, yeah. try, and, try and get us to accept them as another language, like like we have with English. Right. Try and accept it as just another language in our vocabulary. Right, right, yeah. right. And when, we start, when we start using our brain about it and going, oh, what does this mean? Can yeah. we have it translated in English? It kind of it takes away from the message. Exactly. Yeah, because yeah. what I was gonna say, a love is a feeling. Is not is not a language. Is a feeling. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, I mean. Yeah. You know. yeah. Maybe yeah, that's why I just felt the need to translate it into English. I just felt like I needed to get it out. I needed to express it. That I really like expressing languages, like the ones I've gained. I really like expressing them. I like the feeling I get from it. Um, but I, I never, ever, some people really want to know what the, the words do mean, but at the back of my head, I, I just kind of, a voice was like, no, you don't need to know them, you know. You just express it and feel the energy and you're fine. I didn't, I didn't really feel a need to translate it into English, but um, I was kind of curious a bit about what I was saying. But I like well, to sing them. When we were younger, we we have what's called um, um, foreign exchanges over here. So we will go and spend a couple of weeks in France with another family, and then they will come and spend a couple of weeks with us over here. And um, sometimes they do it so young, you don't even know the language. 
and you meet up with them or they or they're friends of friends and you meet up with them and you don't speak a single word of their language yet as children you're still able to play and communicate and sort of understand each other maybe you're not speaking the same things but the intent is very pure because you're younger so you're sort of able to experiment with that but I don't think you would get that so much in America because obviously you're all speaking the same language and well you got Canada at the top and then a little bit of Mexico at the bottom so <laughs> Has anyone noticed? Well, you want to learn two languages, don't you? You learn Spanish and uh, and um, English. Ooh. Wow! Yeah, Somebody Work. was saying something. Was it Nick? I feel it was Nick. Uh, some some kind of dragon appeared. Um, <laughs> but, oh, I was. <laughs> no, what I was saying was, uh, has anyone noticed since the um these galactic languages like coming through, you can actually communicate with animal language as well? Oh yeah, it's way easier. Yeah, I've noticed myself chatting to birds a lot more. I, I can every time a pigeon comes by, I'll just be like, <laughs> just they they look straight over at me, and I'm just like, how how did I know how to say that? <laughs> the squirrels are coming, so letting me come so close to them now. I was within a foot of a squirrel. I was just staring into its eyes because I was. Speaking squirrel somehow, I don't remember it, but <laughs> how do how do squirrels sound? Just freaked out. Well, I I was I was kind of um just uh Say it. Into a trance. I wasn't really speaking to the squirrel specifically. The birds I always speak oh. to. The squirrel I was trying to get it to calm its vibration, so it wouldn't. I was trying to match its frequency with mine, so it wouldn't. Freak out when I came close to it. Can you make squirrel noises? I didn't make any squirrel noises. I just said that. <laughs> I no, can. but I still want to hear you make squirrel noises. Not. No. Speak. Speak but, squirrelish. Uh, uh, squirrelish. No. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Speak giddy pig. Squirrely. Speak, squirrely. Speak <laughs> giddy pig. But it's really funny that. Uh, the mantis came out today because I spoke mantis earlier today because somebody earlier today asked me about the the mantises and I told them that they're very wise and powerful race that yes, yeah. they are what did I write here that's right here um from my impression while well, Nick researches as well um they are actually one of the sort of kind of oversouls as well they control a lot of what's going on behind the scenes, but they don't like to be seen. Um, but like they are very, very loving creatures, um, but highly intelligent as well and highly advanced. Um, yeah, and uh, I don't know if you heard their name. They're called the Mantiques. M-A-N-T-I-X. Mantiques. Interesting correlations to that. Like, I don't know what I, I just. I, that's a cool name though. I like that name. I'm Mantis. Well, I put the link up of Simon Parks on the uh, website. Who's the MP, the Labour MP in England, who's openly talks about his mother being a Mantis alien, and yet he's in. Did he hurt? Did she a member of Parliament? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not joking. No, no, can you repeat that? Just so I missed. He, he's talking about his mother was a mantis. Did she eat his father? <laughs> I think they um, actually do that. Yeah, um, th do you know what? There's a very strange story he talks about, about him being tested, about eating somebody as well. So there's a parallel on that. Um, I'll try and dig it out for you and give you a link. I gotta get those. This I I want to buy on DVD. Uh, uh, the that show, the Gr Grim, the series. No, not heard of it. Oh, uh, it's in America, I guess. Only I don't know. Let's but if you want to hear some bird music, I put a link up. Basically, this guy saw a load of birds sitting on like telegraph wires. And he saw it as a musical structure, 
So you put the music into notes and as the birds were sitting. And that's the link I just put up. Mm. Mm. Another way of interpreting. I want to speak a language that sounds like Zoidberg from Futurama. <laughs> what a program that was. The last series of that. Wow. I'm surprised it didn't get banned. <laughs> I couldn't care. Far came too close to the truth. Far <laughs> too close to the truth. Crazy for me. <laughs> <laughs> Zoidberg is my favorite out of them all. Like, it's just my favorite. Always. Oh, it's Bender for me. It's got to be Bender. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and Bender. Sorry. I'm sorry. It's just. It's too <laughs> larger than life, isn't he? I mean, come on. <laughs> Kleptomaniac, alcoholic. Um... <laughs> Fry? Fry is just there. Like, he's just there. <laughs> It's kind of annoying. How many to fry? Who needs to fry? Yeah, I got to change your hair. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> what is up with your face, Nick? Avengers with wasabi. Avengers <laughs> do have what's, some. Was it about the um, the redhead stepchild you have over there, or something? You have some sort of saying about the the, the redheaded yeah, red stepchild. The redheaded stepchild is the one that like gets treated not good. He gets treated like worse than the other kids apparently, or they don't care about them as much. That's the idea. I don't understand. It, but. Yeah, we get that. We actually get that in the UK as well. There's a lot of um, discrimination over the color of your hair. <laughs> Do you get mad if people say it's orange? Not anymore. Yeah, well, that's what I never understand. If I had red, if I had orange hair, I would, I would call it orange. People used to, people when I was younger, when I was like five, four, four, five, all the adults used to call me like things like angel kisses and stuff like that. Cause I had loads of freckles as well, and <laughs> say how amazing your hair was, and we're just so like you're an angel, an absolute angel, and it used to be lovely. And then I went to school. And then it just went completely the opposite. It was abuse and carrot top, you know, you get called everything under the sun. And I had to deal with every single one of these names and it brought out a lot of emotion in me. A lot of issues, a lot of problems I had to deal with. And, but uh, yeah, so it was a huge learning process and that's how I now I know how to forgive so much. Mm. So... I mean, I came in here with a contract, so... The whole ginger thing about being racist against gingers is like the last blast of racism. You, just, you, yeah, yeah. It, it just shows you how stupid it is. Yeah, exactly. It's not even a different race. It's I mean, I've got a nigger pass. I can say nigger to anyone because I've got a nigger pass, man. I can fucking say that to anybody I want because I'm ginger. Have you guys... <laughs> Have you guys ever seen the video, Gingers Have Souls? Oh, no. <laughs> the, the chubby guy. Copper, copper calf. Yeah, I know But I was, I was bright. I was like a light. I was literally so bright ginger when I was a kid. It's a lot darker now. People don't actually believe I'm ginger because it's so dark. But um, probably because I've gotten the sun a lot. Bye, Mary. Bye. My husband is coming. Bye, Mary. Bye, Mary. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Rolly, did you um, did you, you, um, did you um, find you that as you as walk you by traffic light, like, cars would start to stop? <laughs> yes, Dan. <laughs> I kid in. I kid. Really? It's all right. Me. If, I, if, I let my, if I let my beard grow, I got, I got some uh, orange. No, it's also that, that the ginger hair people also have a very, very. They react very quickly, and they can react very angry. It's very easy to wind them up, and it's it's very strange because it is quite true. Um, I don't know if that's just because it's a a, a global. Consensus, or I don't know what the word is. Huh? I know what it is. I know why it happens.
the hell? I'm not gonna, I want to think about it more before I talk about it. It has something to do... Because I'm trying to think what races I can possibly imagine that have red hair and there's only one. Which is Blood Elf. I Barnard. There's people from the Barnard system have ginger hair, don't they? I have heard of that place. Where is that? I think Barnard. that's... It might not be 100% though on that, so... Oh, well, maybe, and I'm sure... He like, said they're all redheads, the, the blood, whole race. Just like us, almost a little bit... Well, a little bit be, uh, in, Behind like, a us, renaissance. Yeah. In, like, a renaissance, but they're a human planet. Yeah. Yeah, but they're far more... They've got a lot more... They're a lot more spiritually advanced than us, but not as technically advanced as us. I think that's when they're going through this renaissance, but they have a lot of things that can... You know, a lot, there's a lot more... Uh, um, it's a lot more balanced than it was in our re re renaissance. I had a dream about going there. Yeah, Barnard Star is going to be... Um, off. We are going to be the, Shina the Shalanaya to the Barnard Star system. So nice. we will go there, and Those then we'll be there. Right? we will be the first contact. So awesome. I was already there, but I don't remember it, so I can't wait. I, I look back and forward to it. We've done it. It's just a silly thing. We've we've been there and we've done it. So I mean, just got to remember it. Yeah. Ooh, uh, kill him, little Tyrio. My mind is blowing. <laughs> your mind is blowing. What is going on in your head? Just. I'm opening up portals for him. Dun dun but even dun. them. Even they got their red hair from Blood Elves. I thought you said Blood Elves have, like, literally blood red hair. It can be. Oh. But when it comes to humans... It's well, like Roxy? <laughs> <laughs> Similar, but I think it's more dark. That's what yeah, I, I think so. She's a bit enhanced. They also have blonde hair. Well, Blood yeah. Elves are the only ones that I know that have red hair that aren't human in the way we understand human. Okay. Well, that, that would kind of make sense, though, wouldn't it? I mean, a ginger-looking elf would be called a Blood Elf. I mean, if it had a reddish tinge to it, that's probably the, the nicest way they could probably put it. Yeah. yeah. That's way cooler than ginger. define it. <laughs> way cooler than a ginger. Blood Elves... Steel souls. I thought you said that's impossible, steel soul. It is. It's just a new joke. Because oh. Blood Elf has like a edge to it. What do they just? What do they do though? I wonder. They kill people. What? Do they kill other elves or? Blood elves? Yeah. I'm sure they have. I. Elves don't really kill. No, they don't kill. That's my feeling. Yeah. Just because they don't make love doesn't make them evil. <laughs> I'm not saying they're evil. You're I like, think... how many people have they murdered in the last week? <laughs> I don't know. I just I get like an assassin thing from them. Kind of. That okay? Sorry, that's like RPG. Like. No, that's just your blood elf army. Blood elf army. <laughs> Your blood elf squadron that you're talking about, that you send to do that little skirmishes around planet Earth to help with ascension while you're sleeping. Totally. Silent covert ops taking out people that are supposed to be taking in power, and now they just disappear. <laughs> Would I do that? I don't think I'm that mean. I think you're much smarter. Than you th I don't think they're killing them. They're just popping them into the dark realm. What? <laughs> oh no. my god. How else do the, the um, mischievous they get their um, pets to play with? What was that? I was going to say, the um, elves pop in, 
they take people away, then the uh, fairies have got pets to play with. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be taken to Middle Earth. I turn. I, I used to just uh, go around and turning, turning. Because I used to be able to feel the. Never mind. I don't want to talk about it. Because you guys don't know anything. I don't. Because I don't want to say things that'll make people be like, "Wait a minute, I didn't know." That. I don't want to talk about. It. <laughs> I used to turn dark spirits into, uh, like animals and flowers and stuff. <laughs> I still do. Brandy Shack, are you there? Read what I just put. If no, agrees. Just agree. Yes. Do you agree or do you disagree? I didn't listen right now. What? I just heard my name, but I didn't listen what you were saying before. Oh, I speak pretty sharp. Yeah. If I speak well. Can you take this off live? Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, that was simple. I thought this would be hard. What are you